I welcome everybody. I'm Ava Brown, the author of, of Bamboo and Fern, a very amazing book um, that is on Amazon. It's a book that talks about my life. And I'm going to just drop the link inside the blab right now so that you can see it. And you can go and check out my book if you actually want to hear more about what I do and who is this girl coming here to talk to you. While I am waiting on my other counterparts to join me on this blab conversation, uh, that's Imani speak, um, as well as um, uh, Jerome Cowens and Suzanne Lawrence. I'm waiting on them to join me on this conversation. Um, hi, Jerome. Um, please take a seat. Um, Jerome, welcome. Take a seat. Um, oh, Suzanne's taking a seat. Hello, Suzanne. And Suzanne is taking a seat in the blab room. Um, Suzanne has taken a seat. Welcome to um, Suzanne, Jerome. If you can hear us, please take a seat as well. So I was just I was just introducing myself. I'm waiting on um, Suzanne is here. We're waiting on Jerome to come. And Suzanne's one of our speakers for the event in Manchester um, that has just been rescheduled to the 6th of February. Um, and Jerome is joining us. Awesome, awesome, Jerome. Hello, everyone. Amazing, there you are, great. So Blab is live and um, we have almost a full house. We have 13 people listening to us globally already. People were here waiting on us to join this Blab. I think that's just amazing. And, and we're really gonna introduce ourselves. I'm gonna tell you why we've come together on this Blab tonight. We came together on this Blab because we're having an amazing event in Manchester. And for those of you who knew about the date, we've just had to change the date because one of our speakers has another appointment that has to supersede this and we've had to change it. So I'm Ava Brown and I'm going to hand over to Suzanne Lawrence, who's going to talk about who she is, why you should come to Manchester. And then we're going to go to Jerome and we're hoping Imani will join us. So Suzanne, it's over to you. Hi everyone, my name is Susan Lawrence and I am very, very happy to join Ava's team. It's a real honour and blessing. Um, basically, Ava got in contact with me with regard to sort of joining the team and having a discussion with you all about what I do. Um, I am um, a spiritual life coach, um, numerologist, and I decided basically to change my direction in, in uh, life, basically after being a careers advisor since 2009. And I wanted to branch out on my own and support people to basically unlock their potential. Um, my role as a spiritual life coach is to really support people to tap into their intuition and to tap into how they really, really, truly, truly feel about where they are and where they would like to get to. It is a very sort of deep reflective process, but it can be a great deal of fun as well. So even though whilst it is fun, it can actually be really enlightening and it can be really uplifting when you really start to tune into your intuition and tap into how you really, really feel in order for you to make the changes that you desire. So I would recommend that everybody comes on board and comes to Manchester. We've got a really lovely program together. We've got a full house and we can promise you it's going to be it's going to be fabulous. So, Suzanne, thank you so much. Can I just ask you to tell me how numerology works? Because I hate numbers, by the way. I, I only like numbers when it's in my bank account. Like that's the only time I love numbers. <laughs> When I see the zeros, you know, that's the only time I get really excited. Um, but tell me, how does numerology work? How, how does that work? It's a really funny, it's a very deep subject. It, it comes from what the, the theorist Pythagoras. And basically the principle is that for everybody's birth name and everybody's birth date, each letter and each number has a unique number assigned to it. So for instance, Ooh, that letter of A have a, a a numero sort of numerological aspect to it oh, and then we're gonna do this on black live suzanne sorry you're gonna have yes. to do me right now do me baby come on you're gonna have to do me so let's get this done. <laughs> i have to do my calculations but the thing is what it is is it really does give you a bit of insight into who you are it 
I'm not embarrassed, okay? So just do it. I'm not embarrassed for everybody to hear. My life is an open book. No, but I promise when I get a little bit more with this blab game, I will do it. I will definitely do it. Awesome. I'm going to hold you to that blab. Are you hearing? She said she's going to do me my numbers on blab. Just get it right, okay? The only so, thing to be prepared is that when you do it live, when you do it on blab, uh, there may be a silence while I sit and do calculations, but the principle of it is, is it gives you further insight into characteristics of yourself which you may be aware of or you may not be aware of, and it gives you a deeper meaning to who you are. Ooh. Guys, and can you do me a favour? It puts some of the pieces of the jigsaw <laughs> puzzle in place. Oh, awesome. I would love to hear that because, boy, I must have a lot of jigsaw all over the place. Can you share this link with your followers on Facebook and invite them to join the Blab? That would be awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, we've got some people in the house. Let's welcome them. We just have Mohammed, who's joined us on Blab here. So welcome, Mohammed. Um, let's be nice. Um, have we got any more seats? Um, no, we only have four seats at the moment. Now, um, great. So basically, it's numbers and your alphabet. Is that what it is? It relates to your birth name and your birth date. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> It isn't just relating to that. It, you take into consideration your life path number, your mm -hmm. solar number, your destiny number. Wow. And say, for instance, you look at where you are also in a personal year. Say, for instance, wow. we've just gone into 2016, which is going to be a number nine year. And the number mm. nine represents letting go and releasing old patterns, old behaviours, and things that no longer serve your greatest purpose. Awesome. Um, can we just, to the left yeah, of the lab, there's a Twitter and the Facebook link. I love technology. All you got to do is just click and it shares. Click and it shares. You, just have, you don't have to work too hard. It does it all for you. So numbers, year, letters, correct? Fascinating. It's a very fascinating subject. Um, some people will actually think it's probably, gosh, a load of rubbish. But once you get into it, it's very, very enlightening. And it does tie in very in, in, in some similar way to astrology as well. So mm. it's more or less for people who are on a journey of self-discovery and who want awesome. to really find out about themselves. You know I love self-discovery, right? So that's going to be me. Thank you so much, Suzanne. And Suzanne, you're going to be in Manchester on the 6th of February where people who want to hear about their birth date, their names and numbers and what it says about you should come. Um, yes, Matt, nice definitely. to see you start to talk live. Suzanne, I lost you there, my dear. Go again. Could you repeat what you just said, please? I'm just saying that Anybody who wants to hear more about this should come to Manchester on the 6th of February to hear what you Manchester have to say. Discussion with them and get their details from them and then we can start the process of self-discovery. Awesome, awesome, love it. Now, Jerome Cowans is in the house and if you don't know much about Jerome, let me tell you, let me, I love to embarrass him. Jerome Cowans has had the privilege that I wish I had to have met President Obama himself. And I wish I could put the picture up here somewhere. Um, Jerome has met the president. He's met the queen of England. Um, oh, hi, Florida. I was just in Florida recently. I was in Florida three weeks ago um, in West Palm. So there you are. Now, Jerome has met President Obama himself. Um, and if anybody wants to... Don't believe me. I'm going to find the YouTube clip right now where President Obama said, Jerome Cowan, yes. where are you? Is that true, Jerome? <sighs> uh, wow, well, did you hear that? Yes, yes. He even sounds like the president now. <laughs> and then Jerome has also met the queen. Definitely. Right? Right, Jerome? Ah, uh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? So Jerome Cowans is going to tell us about himself and what he does. And whilst he's doing that, I found the I found the video people that President Obama said. Can anybody just listen to this? That's uh, President Obama calling out this man. 
Okay, so President Obama called out this young man on my left name in that video in Jamaica. Hello, everyone. Over it's you, um, an absolute pleasure to be here. My name is, sorry about it. Let me just get myself settled in. I'm so excited, you know, Ava. And I'm uh, honored this event okay, is going to be such a success. My name is Jerome Cowens. I am a global youth leader. Um, basically, I travel the world trying to empower young persons to, in an essence, believe in their dreams. And not only young persons, as I've grown, I've learned how to offer my coaching skills to older persons as well, helping them to basically do what our theme says, to unlock that true potential. Each and every single one of us was born with this potential. So I have taken it upon myself. Um, coming from very humble backgrounds to date, I've been on six continents, um, blessed Africa, Europe, Asia, South America. And I've met with youth, I've met with world leaders, I've gone to several parts of this world basically, just sharing my story and my insight into how you can make your life better, step by step. And it's just a privilege um, knowing Imani, Susanna, and Ava. And it's just a powerful dynamic team that, you know, coming from different aspects, health, wellness, Ava with her amazing books and stories as well. I'm just excited. I'm sorry. I'm just super excited. Yes. Jerome, Jerome, thank you so much. You know I love you. And, and Jerome is, a, is one of my mentees. I mean, not that I can teach him anything, but somebody who I've got a lot of love and admiration, respect, and um, somebody who I have under my wings. There are some amazing stuff that Jerome and I are going to be doing together um, in Jamaica this year. And um, some of them I can't yet go into, into discussion about. But just today we made an arrangement to see the High Commissioner, didn't we, Jerome? And, um, and she's meeting with us. We are so humbled by that. And I'm just really blessed to know you. I just love your story. And um, we're, we're in the process of discussing his book. Oh. Ah, Jerome, I'm sorry. I knew so. <laughs> what, 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 how does that happen? Yeah. I don't know what's happened to Jerome. We need to keep the conversation going. So, Susan, you know you were talking about... Why have I not? I'm here. Wow. Imani, come back now, please. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Talk about right. your story I'm now. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about health on the sixth of February, yeah. and um, for me, it's very, it's very poignant because 16 years ago, I was so ill, I couldn't go into work most days. Um, I went to see my doctor one uh, the, the day after I thought I was going to die. The day before, I was, I felt like you know. I was that was it I even said to my um, partner at the time that you know to go and contact my mum and my dad because I didn't think I was going to make it I made it the next morning went to the doctors and she told me I had several different ailments um, and if I didn't do something I would die I was not going to make it to my next birthday and I was at the time I was only in my 30s so I was like oh my god you know I, I, I this can't happen you know this is madness I can't be so ill at this time of my life when I got so much I was looking forward to it at the time so um, I went away and decided you know what um, she wanted to give me a lot of medication for you know my blood pressure and all different things and I said to, I said no because I was working as a doctor's PA and I saw what happened to people when they went on some of these um, medications so I thought you know what I knew some personal development I was quite spiritual, getting into, getting more and more into that. So I thought, you know, I'm going to use, you know, I'm going to use my own, you know, if I created this, if I created all this illness in my body, then I was mm -hmm. going to make sure that I found a way to uncreate it and create wellness instead. So I went to, um, you know, got books and you know, studied different things, found out about um, how you can, you know, sort of change, you know, change the way you, you eat your foods and times and all these different things and cutting out things and cutting out that. But also, what I also used was, um, you know, subliminal messages. And uh, because sometimes, you know, it's really, you, you want to do something, but there's a part of you 
uh, that is wants to do something else. So you need to be aligned. You need to be integrated. So what subliminal messages and self hypnosis does is it helps you to, you know, do what you set out to do. So that you're doing it in a holistic way. So all of you, you know, not just not you're not emotionally over there pining for this and that, and then your conscious is saying I want this and that. Everything is working together in unison. So that's what I did. And um, at the time, um, in fact, when I when I had this diagnosis, um, um, I'd just been my, my partner at the time just proposed to me. So I had a good reason to also, you know, want to sort out my health and that. And my granddaughter um, was living was living with me, and I wanted, you know, I wanted to enjoy her. I was so sick most days. I was you know, having to um, get my partner or, or you know my family to help out, sort of thing. So um, I had a lot of reasons. So I had all my reasons why I wanted to get well, um, which is which is working with the, the sort of conscious part of my, of my brain. And then I also was doing this other stuff, the other work on, you know, the, the part of me that was working against my dreams and goals. So that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to be talking about how to, you know, what to do as in the practical practical side of things. But I'm also going to talk about how we can work for, you know, find a way to work with ourselves rather than against ourselves when we're setting, you know, certain goals, especially something like health and weight loss. Hello. <laughs> yes. Thank you, man. That's brilliant. Yeah, I've got, I've got. Right, Jerome's yeah. back. He went just went for a moment. Um, oh, Ava's back. Ava's back. I don't know where Ava's gone. I, I, I heard think all of that. I don't know why I was. I heard everything, so I don't know what happened yeah. there. I didn't even realize I wasn't in the call, but I was. to lose weight she pretended to have too much weight on then she got proposed to okay wow. and then she was i'm just joking um but amazing stories amazing story imani so imani tell me i mean i'm a voluptuous fluffy fabulous girl okay i mean i've got you can tell i've got lots of you know um extra bits for cushion um does my size necessarily mean that i am i'm i'm it's not, I'm ill or okay not, I know I'm overweight but does no size it's not about that size well? because I'll tell you I'll tell you something at that time I um it was you know size for me was 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 you know was a good thing in some ways because I found that um on a sort of fitness less, less <coughs> level men like you know women with more you know more going on so it was it was actually it was a kind of this is why I had to use my mind to what because it was a good thing. It, in fact, I met my my partner at that time when I was you know that size. So no, no, it's not about size. What it is, it's about getting rid of the top thing. not be even thinking about that but if you're ill as I was I wasn't able to go into work most days I was in agony with this IBS my blood sugars were raised Mm-hmm. 
Okay, great. So in Manchester, people can actually come to listen to your, your journey, but also advice on how to stay healthy. Um, and that health is not a physical thing. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Imani. Guys, um, just in case you're just joining us on Blab, we are a team of amazing people with amazing stories. Each of us have unique stories that make us powerhouses in essence. You know, we've been through our own journeys. We've been through our own struggles. We face our own demons. And we are here to tell that we're victors. And we're taking those stories um, on the 6th of February to Manchester. I've just sent the link there. We've just changed the date. And because we're on Blab, we've not been able to change our event right. But it's okay. If you are in the area and you want to join us, still buy your tickets to come the link is just placed there um we're going to be talking about health and mindset and unlocking potential and how spirituality impacts on everything you know if your health and your spirituality are not connected then you know the mindset can't be right you can't unlock anything so um i'm gonna take my seat out so if anybody is on the call wants to jump on and ask a question um i'm not gonna leave the call necessarily but I'm going to take my seat off and I'll unlist the mode. And if anybody there wants to jump on and ask a question, um, by all means, do so. I'm going to empty my seat so you can call in. Anything that they specifically want to ask? Um, anything that... The 6th of February, we'll be transforming lives. We'll be opening up our minds and our visions to new potentials. You know, this 2016 is amazing and we're going to unlock it. I am going to support people to really tap into what their intuitive feelings are saying. I'm going to help you to really learn to trust exactly what you feel. You're getting me to repeat myself again. I am going to be supporting people to really touch base with their intuition and really sort of have a listen to what they, how they feel about where they are. I'm going to help them to un unlock their intuition to be able to support them to move forward and grow.
Yes, yes, yes. I do, I really do, with a passion. Jamaica. I have to get there, Ava. I have to I have to get there. Hey, she has her she has us. Yes. <laughs> 